Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So, Big John, let's, uh, here's, uh, here's a question I'm going to ask you. You know, obviously, you're, you're a gun guy, you know. Um, we would help. Yes. Right? <laughs> you, and, you and, of course, Hickok. How's Hickok doing, by the way? He's good. He's good. He's doing good. All right. So, yeah. so what are the things, because we were talking about this before we got on air, right? Um, as gun guys, what is the stuff we're expected to have a lot of, do you think? Like, what should, you know, what should be our main ammo. list that we're buying all the time? Yeah, ammo, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just ammo? Buy cheap and stack cheap. Do what? Is it? I said buy Oh. No, go ahead. I said buy it cheap and stack it deep. Yeah. Yeah, very true. I mean, once you kind of like, you know, it's like the way I look at it, and I guess a lot of shooters do, you have your core group of firearms that are like, these are my guns. Like, mm -hmm. these are my, you know, part of the expression, go to war, rifle mm -hmm. or pistol or whatever. You know, this is like my guns that are here for a practical purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's what you, you know, stockpile ammo and magazines and everything you need for. And then the other stuff is just kind of like, whatever. I mean, I, I've got I've got guns that I probably have. 30 rounds of ammo for mm -hmm. but it's like you know a 303 infield and stuff like that you know that doesn't matter oh okay so like but like 556 five, that's what I like you know that's what I have a lot of right okay so and if if um if folks are joining us and they don't realize you do a lot of the camera work for Hickok right, right. otherwise yeah. otherwise we oh. will be seeing like a crotch shot basically yeah, because <laughs> you get... yeah, people don't realize how tall Dad is because I'm the same height, so it's like just... yeah. And the, and the table, the shooting table, he built that obviously for himself, so it's right. really tall. So everything <laughs> looks in proportion. Yeah, right. Everything is big, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to. I have to ask a question. Okay. Was your is is your mother a tall person? Uh, she's like five eleven. So, oh, yeah. So yeah, oh, for, yeah. For, for a female, wow. that's tall. Yeah. female, she's tall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you taller than Hickok or shorter? Uh, people tell me that I am, but like for the longest time, like he was like six eight and a half, mm -hmm. and I was always when I'd get measured, I was like right at six eight, almost exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, but you know, as he's gotten up in years, that's what, you know, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. <laughs> old age <laughs> yeah you gotta tell him to you know drink those insures or something like that he might yeah he might, he might i'll never get... say i'll never say that i'm taller than him though okay all right cool yeah that's the thing i think so to, when you meet your fans right you guys have a lot of fans i'm sure one they don't realize how tall you all are you're like freaking highlanders or something that there can only be one <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, what are the other things that people don't realize? Like maybe people don't even realize that you're the guy behind the camera. You have your own YouTube channel. You do your own thing that we're, we're going to get into here. But what are the things that people just don't realize whenever they meet you guys? Um, I guess that's probably the big one, you know, mm -hmm. just how, like, how tall we are. They ask us a lot of questions like about the range, you know, mm -hmm. how far away the targets are, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, like where we're from and, you know, mm -hmm. all, the, all that type of stuff questions about specific guns and things but I, I, probably that is the biggest yeah. thing because we kind of are just like who we seem like mm -hmm. on video except for the height part so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's um so what do people think about the range do they think that those that the steel's not really that far it's like an optical well we've had to tell people so many times people freak out about the gong mm -hmm. uh, like it's the most impossible <laughs> target in the world but it's, it's like it's a giant circle it's like two feet wide Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's at 80 yards like the the red plates as we know like we have, have the red plates up but those are much harder to hit mm -hmm. everyone always talks about the gong you mm -hmm. know but the yeah. gong is just there because it's like for a long range target it's easy to hit oh, okay oh, okay um i don't know this feedback coming from somewhere i don't know who who necessarily that is so um well i was going to ask you something about the uh what is it was that deliberate the, the way of setting up the range because it seems to me like one of the things that people like about the channel is it's the same setup all the time and obviously let's let's take out like how tall you guys are how big the hands are there's like this universal aspect to the range and what you're shooting and kind of like that's what people right. realize because i think even some you guys were in some kind of game the range was in some kind of game uh based on that oh right? yeah it's like somebody 
Yeah, they didn't like have our permission or anything. Oh. It's different enough, I guess, and it wouldn't be worth it to like do anything about it. But yeah, some some VR game company made like a version of, of our range. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of cool. It would have been nice if they had talked to us. Yeah, I'm saying, get some royalties. <laughs> yeah, especially if it was like real successful. I don't know how big it is, but mm-hmm. you know, it is yeah. what it is. I yeah. thought it'd be cool, like if you know, Call of Duty or something, they'd have like a training, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Down, you, you could know, voice DLC over thing. somebody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that I've always felt like, you know, we talked about that for years where we, when we do reviews on guns and stuff, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like we have the variable, which is the guns, and then the constant would be the range and dad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like those things being kind of the same, you can get some, maybe some idea, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But it's like, I always look at it like movie critics you know, they're all going to have different opinions. Like, you're crazy if you watch one re- gun review and make your decision based on that. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You watch a bunch of different people. Yeah. Do, do, um, have you, has it ever happened to you that, um, you know, someone looked at your review, bought something, and then you see them somewhere, and maybe they don't like it and they're mad at you? Because <laughs> <laughs> They never said that, but probably. <laughs> the, I'm sure it's happened. Yeah, that's the thing. Because for me, I don't even like the idea of reviews. I'm trying to tell people yeah. in, my, in my videos where we're shooting stuff, we're just it's just me hanging out or me and Babyface Walter or whoever is on the range with us. We're just hanging out shooting this thing, and I'm thinking people are going to look at a lot of different data and make up their own mind. I don't want to be responsible for it's like solely responsible for your purchase. But I get you know right. can't I don't know if yeah. we can escape that or not. Yeah, I know with the terms it gets weird. Cause it's like you know review. T- are you testing it? You know, what, you know, it's like, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like kind of, my opinion, just kind of call it whatever you want and mm-hmm. people can kind of see what it is uh, for themselves. You know, like what we always say, we're like, this is one gun, this is one example, you know, of this gun doing this, mm-hmm. you know, so that's like, like thing I always like to bring up is we got burned on that uh, UTS uh, 15, remember that shotgun? Yeah, the UTX, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, the bullpup. Yeah, we got burned hard on that thing because we got it and it. We didn't like it, mm-hmm. for, you know, really, because it was, like, really light and just mm-hmm. beats the hell out of you, and it's kind of awkward to use, but it worked. Like, it, mm-hmm. ours worked, mm-hmm. and uh, we got to do the video kind of early on it because we happened to know these guys that are Turkish that run a gun shop in uh, Nashville. Oh, okay. I believe it was actually called Nashville Gun Shop, and they were like, you got to try this shotgun out. I was like, all right. We did a video, the thing worked, and then everybody else made videos and showed it, like, broke and it was unreliable and all this yeah. stuff, and it's like... You know, yeah. and that was like a big eye opener for us. I think that happens sometimes that because um, it came from the gun shop, so you never, you guys didn't deal with the company, right? No, not at all. Yeah. They didn't even know about it. They just were like, "Hey, check this out." Like, okay. Yeah. So that could happen sometimes. These are mechanical things, and even bad mechanical things. A couple of nice ones could go out there. People could get their hands on it, and then everyone else is sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so like, ever since then, we try to be more clear like look this is just one gun you mm-hmm. know what i mean like if we have problems with it doesn't mean it's bad if, we, if, if if it works great doesn't mean it's good you know yeah yeah i think you guys probably have the um i'm trying to think if anyone has i think you probably have the biggest library of gun videos possibly uh, yeah that's, that's kind of what we always stuck to just cranking out the guns yeah yeah are you are you are you all keeping up the same pace um because i don't yeah. i don't are, are you are you that on your side of what you do? Are you that much into the guns, or are you more into the comedy stuff? I know you're you're into doing stand up and things like that. Yeah, well, it's like uh, here lately, I've been more in, uh, doing stand up and stuff. But yeah, I mean, Dad, like we do the videos. Dad does the research and all that stuff on, on the guns. But you know, I'm there and shooting them and stuff like mm-hmm. that too. So I mean, I I have some perspective obviously on it. And then if I'm doing the video on it, I do I do the research and, mm-hmm. and all that. So, okay. But yeah. But, Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.